All right, everybody. You ready? Are you ready? All right. So please, by all means, everybody, give a big round of applause, huge cheers for Josh Petersdorf. Gaku Space. And Fyodor Chin, everybody. Sack Anime, what is going on? Feels great to be here. Everyone say hi. Make some noise! What an amazing time it's been. What a great, great con this has all been. Thank all of you for coming out here right off the bat. I know that I speak for all of us in the entire cast of Overwatch when we say thank you. Thank you guys so much for being awesome. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for staying true to who you are, standing up for what you believe in, and loving this awesome game, yeah! <laughs> so I only got one question. You ready to go, old hog? <laughs> what about you, Vale? We are so happy to be here, Sacramento, but I, I have one thing that I, I'm afraid. One stipulation, I will not juggle. Yeah. <laughs> and Mr. Gaku Space? I just want to say, uh, I need a healing. <laughs> <laughs> so I am so honored to be here. Our moderator is MIA, so guess what? Big Hogs here. So what we'd love to do is we'd love to open the floor for some Q&A. Uh, if you have a question, please start. Uh, the end of the line is over there. We're going to try and keep it to one question per person. When you come up, please, you'll come up to this microphone right here. The nice lady uh, will also direct you where to go. And when you leave, leave this way so there's no cloggage. And with that being said, my ultimate is almost ready. <sighs> Anyang. Hi, Diva. <laughs> uh, the microphone for Diva was not on. Mm -hmm. I'll let you ask it again, Diva. There you go. Okay. Is there going to be a Diva animated short? I do not know if there is going to be a Diva animated short. And unfortunately, with some of these things, we're on a... Even if we did know, we unfortunately wouldn't be able to tell you. Exactly. But, uh, I do know that the Junkertown short was amazing, and and Diva's other cinematic with Genji was amazing. So I'm sure there are more great things planned in the future, but I don't know. Yeah, and I think you can trust that Blizzard is one video game company that definitely knows its fans and takes care of its fans and knows what you guys want. So. You know, just keep your fingers crossed. And Absolutely. Hello. What's up? Hello again. Hi. Um, I met you guys yesterday. Hi again. Um, okay. I'm on my brain. Okay, there we go. Okay, I got my question. Sorry. You got it. <laughs> um, in character, I would love to hear you guys, your guys' opinion of Junkrat. Oh. Well, there's only one word yeah. to describe it. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's how I think Roadhog would describe Junkrat, I believe. Thank you. What about you? How would you describe Junkrat? Idiot? Just not. I sense chaos. Yeah. <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you Love very you. Much. Guys. Hey, what's uh, going on? Uh, I have one question for all of you. Yeah. If you had to voice one character other than your own, which one would you want to do the most? Mm. Well, <laughs> I would love. <laughs> I would love to be Diva. 
<laughs> GG <What>? daddy o <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> Heroes never die. And I, I'm definitely a tracer guy, so. <laughs> Cheers, love! Caffrey's here! <laughs> <laughs> Should have been me. Should have been me. Thank you. I think he just took his boat from across the pond. Hello. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, I was told like three different rooms for oh. this thing, so. Well, welcome aboard. We're glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. Excellent. Let's what's keep up? this thing going. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Uh, hey. I got hey. a question. Uh, do you play the game? And if so, who's your favorite and least favorite characters to play? Uh -huh. Oh, he has to answer that. I don't play. So. <laughs> That's from Josh me. plays all the time. He, uh, has, I have he is really good. Man. 18 hours as Roadhog. Um, second, nine hours as Farah. Third is embarrassing, because this is, all right, don't judge me, guys. I want to be a Widowmaker. <laughs> really bad. Really, really bad. And I have a lot, I have like four hours played as so I'm like, I never play as Widow. What does that mean? It means I'm trying. Okay. So those are my, and heroes I loathe. Uh, man, uh, being a Roadhog main, uh, me and Doomfist are having, we're having problems right now, so. <laughs> we're having problems on Deathmatch, especially, so. Yeah. Boy, I mean, I don't play so long. <laughs> if um, I do, no, if I do, I'm gonna play Mercy. Then I follow Genji all the time and just you know, constantly healing him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I am all embracing, I, I love. All of the characters. Oh, that's yes. <laughs> that's, you just don't know. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, man. Hello there. Whoa, this is a loud is mic. That... Ch -ch -ch <laughs> kill, 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 mama. So, uh, it's been made very clear that you guys all really enjoy. It's okay. We want everyone wants to hear you. Mm -hmm. so, it's been made clear that all the cast really enjoy voicing the characters they do. So, since you guys have started voicing the characters, have you ever used your voices for anything outside of the game, i.e. ordering a pizza or anything like that? Oh. If so, <laughs> what's the story behind it? Mm. <laughs> well, you know, every time I'm in the bathroom, I, uh... <laughs> uh, what I like doing is, I'll play Overwatch sometimes. There's a couple YouTube videos of me floating around from my stream when I'll trick people and I'll just start talking like this. People will be like, USA number one, you know, China number one, Taiwan number one. I'll be like, this is Optimus Prime, Cybertron number one, Cybertron number one. And, you know, ordering pizzas. I need a large five cheese pizza, rated R. <laughs> I use it as a pickup line, so, hey, I need healing. <laughs> I use Genji's lines as pickup lines too. Right? That's, that's what I, I had a dream. <laughs> I was a butterfly. I dreamt of a pepperoni and mushroom pizza. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Okay. Thank you, Captain. Yeah. If there isn't fan art of that on Tumblr in a, in a day, I'm going to be very disappointed in all of you. <laughs> Thank you for dressing for the occasion. I appreciate that. Oh, oh, this cool. is a gift. Give this guy a yeah, hand. Hey, a round of applause. Uh, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and here's the socks. Cool. First, I wanted to say uh, I love your guys' Overwatch voice acting. Thank but you. I have a specific question for uh, Josh. You have okay. a musical background, right? Uh, yes. Um, when will you go whole hog and do a musical duo with Sky Williams? Oh, Sky Williams. I'll do anything. <laughs> you know, Sky Williams and I are really cool. That guy's an awesome uh, YouTuber and personality on Twitter, and I love what he does. And we've actually played League together a couple times late night uh, when Sky has, you know, had a couple drinks. And so, oh. <laughs> but. Um, I would love to do more stuff musically again. I, my voice is like when we get older, it changes, and you go through different kind of generations. It feels like in uh, in your voice. So I'd love to sing a majestic song with Sky. He would love nothing more than that <laughs> in life. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you. you. Yeehaw! Super Val. I know her. Hi guys. Uh, 
Uh, I just wanted to ask you guys, uh, what is your favorite non-Overwatch acting role? Oh, me? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. Um, I got a chance to play Master Splinter in a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows a video game, and that was a real honor and a pleasure. Yeah. So that was definitely, that's definitely one of them. I played a young version of Akuma in a live action series of Street Fighter called Street Fighter Assassin's Fist, and I was honored to play that role, yes. <laughs> I mean, I want to say so for voice acting, it would probably be Galio from League of Legends. It was great, yeah. A lot of League fans in here. And then, for other than that, I'm the, currently I'm doing a Firestone Tire campaign. So if you hear Firestone Tires, that's me. It's like, Whatever you drive, drive Firestone. <laughs> so that's been really fun uh, to do also. And I get to live the ultimate dream every day when I have the privilege of working at Universal Studios Hollywood uh, in SoCal as Optimus Prime and Megatron in the character yeah. being greet show. So That's that him. is definitely fun. Mm -hmm. So probably my favorites. If you want presents after the panel, I brought some. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Val. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. 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 Sorry. You got this. I'm like really nervous. You got this. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> We're gonna ask you guys together. Yes. It's okay. What's the question? So I was wondering, how is it like voice seeing your character for the first time? Because I really want to work at Blizzard as a concept artist, and I really want to know how it feels like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to have like the same thing that you guys had when you first saw your characters. <laughs> Great question. Oh Go ahead. <laughs> well, me personally, I enjoyed uh, working for Wizards a dream come true. And so remember this, you are the best you you could ever be, and you'll always be the best you you can be. So as long as you chase your dreams and do what makes you happy, you're going to find the right path like all of us did and all of us here. Would you agree? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just believe in yourself. You know, if you love to do it, just keep doing it. I thought, oh, cool, I got the coolest character. Then I'm glad I didn't get the Hanzo. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am a robot. No. I'm actually, that's why I got cast. I'm an actual robot. No. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Hey. Hey, what's up? Um, before I ask my question, can I record myself asking, or is that not? Or do, you, do you not want to be recorded? What? Okay, so I'm able to record myself asking you the question, or? Sure. As <laughs> long as it's appropriate. It's appropriate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and thank you for asking first. Absolutely. Well. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you had the option to permanently remove a, a hero from the game, who would it be and why? <laughs> <laughs> well, what was that? Permanently remove? Permanently? Wait, what? Well, like, permanently let's remove? Say, like, remove? Let's say like you hated Doofist and you, you want him gone. Just, yeah, he's gone. <laughs> and you have to explain why. So. I don't think I would permanently get rid of anyone, but if there was a ban option, hmm, first person to ban is a Roadhog main Doomfist, no problem, yeah. <laughs> Hanzo. <laughs> <laughs> it was all a setup. <laughs> It might be me because Roadhog hates <laughs> Omnix, that's, and so you know that's true. I uh, the one time we played, uh, he kept. Uh, I hooked him off a cliff and dropped him. And, and like, oh. And so yeah, 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 Roadhog. <laughs> Get him out of here. Yeah. So there you have it. Yeah. Okay, thank Thanks, you. man. Thank you. I I would be very interested in the statistics of like 
people who get perma banned playing the game, like who their mains are. Right. Like that. That that stuff fascinates me. I wonder. Hey. 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 Sick jacket. Oh, thank you. Um, my question is for Gaku. Um, I follow your Instagram, and I read that you came from Tokyo to America to go to acting school. Yes. So I was wondering, what were some of the initial cultural shocks coming from like Japan to the U.S.? What is what? The initial cultural shocks. Oh. Oh, first time I moved to LA, and I stayed at the hostel in Hollywood called the, uh, I think, uh, I don't know the name, and then uh, there's a gay and a lesbian sitting across the street. And uh, one day I was chilling at the patio, and then one, two huge guy on the parking lot kissing. <laughs> and I thought, oh, cool, now I'm in America. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Hi. <laughs> now, out of all the, all the beautiful weapons in Overwatch, which one would you like to have in real life? Ah, jetpack. <laughs> Dragon blade. Do you roll the blade? Uh, it's, um... You cannot beat the orbs of discord. I mm. think. So, you know, it's Sticking with the tried and true. Yeah. I, see. Yeah, that's All right. I like them. Thank you. Thanks, man. <laughs> I love the t shirt. Yeah, super thank Famicom. You. Mr. Space, first of all, say thank you for saying remove Hanzo. I'm right there with you. Yeah, man. But, Mr. Chin, this is more a question for you. Uh, Zenyatta has a lot of uh, philosophical quotes uh, oh, sure. in, in, in his collection. And if. if you had the option to, to add one to the game, uh, what would it be? Oh, oh. Um, right, right. Uh, maybe embrace positivity. Excellent, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Whereas I would say experience hostility. Oh, hey. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Space? Sorry. Uh, you can't beat the classics, you know? Something like he who smelt it dealt it, I think. You know, there's weight and, and, and majesty to that. There is. Yeah. Are any of you guys musicians at all? Or like use your voices to sing and do like background tracks at all? I don't play any instruments, unfortunately, yeah. but I can sing. Yeah, I can sing. Poorly, but yeah. He, he can, he can. I don't play musical instruments, but uh, no. I, <laughs> I don't know where that was going. Uh, do you play yeah, non-musical yeah. instruments? <laughs> or do you play instruments non-musically? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> I've been known to. Mm -hmm. You've been known to sing? Really? Yeah, Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's alright. It's okay. It's alright. <laughs> uh, hey. What's up? What's your favorite voice line? My favorite voice line? From the game? Mm-hmm. Say bacon one more time. <laughs> What's your favorite? Me? Yeah. What, <laughs> what is the, what's the one you seem to hear the most? Maybe Genji's ultimate? <laughs> what do you like? My favorite, actually, the, uh, you seem nice. I hate to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I dreamt I was a butterfly. Thank you for your question. Mm -hmm. Come on down. His favorite line was, justice reigns from above, by the way, just so everyone knows. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, what's your favorite event in Overwatch and why? Favorite event in Overwatch? I loved the, uh, I liked the Christmas event because Roadhog got the Rudolph skin. Yeah! And I was really happy he didn't get some bootleg like Donner or Blitzen. No one cares about Donner or Blitzen or Comet or Cupid, it's about Rudolph. The red nose hog. Mine's an uh, uprising event because uprising. I got a cool skin. Yeah. Blackwatch, yeah. Probably uh, Lunar New Year. That was very cool. That was cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. I love those boots. Hi. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go sure. ahead. Um, 
This one's for you, Josh. How do you feel about the Galio rework into him becoming a big buff statue? Um, I was really pleased and flattered to see the League community accept the rework and be so welcoming with it. Of course, everyone's not going to agree with everything, but I felt like for the majority of it, people liked the rework, and I was flattered when I heard people saying, we really like the voice, it adds a lot of personality to him. And there's two kind of different sides. There's the gatekeeper Galio side, like seventh circle, ninth circle, fourth circle, crazy stuff. And then there's like, hello, I'm, I'm not a gargoyle, I'm a magic nullifying colossus, right? You know. So that was really fun for me. Um, and I think that, Knowing that he was one of the like OG characters of League, it was a big step for them to rework him. And I was just really happy that he seems to be turned out okay. And he's O P A S F. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Come on down. You got this. <laughs> Hi. Hi, it's oh. okay. You're okay. It's okay. Theo, go. <laughs> I'm ready to come, Theo. Yeah. Send the field. <laughs> We're sending Theo this time. Yeah. We got you. Aww. See, we got your back. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the question? Um, I wanted to ask, what was has been your favorite game mode in the arcade, like including past events like Lucio Ball and et cetera? Favorite game mode for me, um, I liked the capture the flag that they did. I liked that a lot. And I liked the PVE uh, Halloween event. Junkenstein's yeah, Revenge. Stein. Yeah, that, that's my favorite too. Yeah, I liked that yeah, one a lot too. So that yeah. was probably my favorite because it was the first time they were kind of experimenting with the uh, PVE in the game, so to speak. And I thought that that was really fun and it sparked a ton of other events similar to it. You know, like Uprising was kind of like basically, you know, very similar to that, a little bit more polished. And I'm hoping in the future we're going to see more of that kind of stuff, right? So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I liked Uprising, that was one of my first events. I, a cool story for you, I played, uh, I did the voice in Uprising for one of the demolisher units who dies. Yeah, all I did was <laughs> That's me! <laughs> like, so every time so when that loud. event, uh, if it comes back next year and you hear that scream, mm. think of me. Thank you. You did great. Okay. She did great, everyone! Uh. This is a safe space, yeah. Everyone's cool here. Hey, bro. What's going on? Done, man. Um, my question's really simple, but I can never seem to find the answer. Why is my team never on the payload when I need them? <laughs> <laughs> Every time, and it's the worst part is I have to play the healer, mm -hmm. and I have to escort the payload, and then they bitch at me for not having any heals for them. <laughs> I think there was a support group that's meeting tonight at 8 o'clock. Uh... <laughs> Where's the address? I think it's lack of healers anonymous. Right, right. Like that, so. You know what, I think Overwatch is a team game. And you read a lot of stories about, in, as you get into higher competitive play, people talk more. And if you get in lower competitive play, they're not using the team chat. And it's always okay that if you're losing, take a break, man. Go take a walk outside, go call your friend, watch some TV, you know, read a book, write, draw, whatever you like to do. Go put on Doom or play something, you know, PUBG. You know, everyone's loving the PUBG right now. Yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, so I always say, get with your team and stay positive. Because it's like anything, teamwork, a good leader and a good teammate isn't gonna be negative, even if they're feeling it. My teammates yeah. know, like when I'm upset, I get quiet. Go, but, oh. Sorry man, Genji's allergic to the payload. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so, like you remember, yeah, he get rushed. So yeah. yeah, he won't stay here. You're gonna be waiting rushed. forever yeah. for him. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, the healers are always underappreciated. And, uh, you, you are underappreciated. No. And I recommend anyone who plays a big DPS class, go roll a healer. You'll have fun, especially with that new Mercy buff. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, man. You got it. That is a tale as old as time in, in, in team play. I used to, used to get it in, uh, in Team Fortress 2 all the time with the minecart. And like, Thank you. Like the one other person who still plays Team Fortress 2. <laughs> I typically play as a medic, and I'm always frustrated when I'm like on a heavy, and they're like really off doing other stuff. Do your, it's, like, doing? it's right yeah. there, dude. Right come there. on. You know what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Play the game. Come on over. 
What up? Hello again. Hello again. <laughs> Sorry, hey, hey. All right, guys. So my question for you guys is this, each of you. If you had to pick a song to be the theme of your character, oh. what would the character song be? OK, I've thought about this a lot. So I can <laughs> <laughs> never thought about it. I can go last or I can go first. <laughs> I'll go last, you go first. Ah, uh, let's see. This is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I can think of anything. What do you think? For you? Yeah. Well, when I have a song for you, it's actually Careless Whisper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna dance again. Guilty feet and got no rhythm. That's actually Gaku's yeah. favorite song, too. Yeah, that's fine. Ironic. Okay. The song I have for, uh, for Zenyatta. Don't ask why, it's just what I play. It's raining men! <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> I'll take it. All right. Yeah, I'll take it. So for me, I've had... Okay, so there's the, the one that's the go-to, which is hooked on a feeling! <laughs> but then, there's like some more... There's a Nine Inch Nails song called March of the Pigs. Yeah! And it's such a good Wastelander junker song that I would go with March of the Pigs, Nine Inch Nails, for sure, for Roadhawk's theme song. So, uh, Star-Lord already claimed <laughs> the other one, right? Yeah, that's Star-Lord song, so. We're on the same page with that one, because for you, it's, you probably know it. Generals gathered in their masses. <laughs> Angels only in black masses. Oh, Lord, yeah! All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> thanks, thanks, man. You. Thank you. We were doing Ozzy. <laughs> the Sabbath was here. Yeah. Black Sabbath rolled in. I always go against type. I would feel like, what's new Pussycat or something? <laughs> Nicole Treasurer's yeah. newest album. Hello, hello. Hey. Hey, what's up? So it's kind of a voice acting question. What's the weirdest thing your voice director's ever asked you to do? <laughs> um... They're all weird, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, I think we've, we've, we do, like you do death screams. Yeah, they Sometimes yeah. they're like, okay, it's a short death. It's a long death. It's a burning death. It's a cold death. It's an electrocuted death. You know, so, like, so there's like seven different ways to die. And then like, okay, yeah. do that 10 times. Ready, go. <laughs> so that's been weird, right? Yeah. I haven't been asked in any sessions for any characters I've done, you know, to like, okay, now he's on the bathroom, grunt. <laughs> so. I agree, yeah, yeah, death is always. That would yeah, that would yeah. Definitely the death exertions yeah. are always the weirdest. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks, yeah, you, you bet. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's like Angie. Nice. Uh, could you try doing an impression of the person's character to the left of you? I need healing. <laughs> oh, wait, my favorite is, what the hell is this? <laughs> but that's my favorite line. Um, yeah. Ready to go whole hog! Yeah! <laughs> Experience tranquility. Yeah. <laughs> you look great, Kenji. Yeah. yeah. Good man. Hello, hello. hello. Okay, so there is one Pachamari in the entire world that has golden tentacles. What would your character do in order to get their hands on it? Anything and everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't know what Roadhog's thing with the Pachamari is. Uh, they are adorable, and he's been spotted in various things, stealing them, hoarding them, breaking machines for them. Maybe they're Junkertown currency. Is it like in Alvin and the Chipmunks when they stash diamonds in the dolls? You never remember that? Yeah. Yeah, right? And they was like, Claude and Sophie, and there was, there was the three girl chipmunks against the, the boy chipmunks in the race across the world. Maybe the Pachimaris hold coins or Maybe treasure. Maybe he has to put those crown jewels somewhere, you know? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. Right? 
there's probably a fanfic of like a family of Pachamaris living together, and it's like this huge like there's Daddy Pachi, Mommy Pachi, and the rebellious it's young son Pachi. You know, it's it's going to be a high school yeah. AU. He doesn't want to clip always. his leaves. You know, he's a rebel. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was for everybody. We all know that Roadhog would do literally mm. anything. What about you two? Well, I, I think uh, an omnic monk. In order to achieve uh, true nirvana, you have to rid yourself of all worldly desires. So I, I, I would not <laughs> pursue <laughs> the Apachimari. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. I'll cut it. <laughs> Fruit ninja. <laughs> Fruit ninja. <laughs> Officer. Hey, hey, Diva. Yeah. It's always so nerve-wracking being up here, not gonna lie. Hi. Uh, I was wondering what uh, Roadhog, Genji, and Zenyatta would do during their free time when they're not fighting. Uh, how would they spend their time? Mm -hmm. Well, non-canon, of course. Um, I think Roadhog reads poetry and sits by the lake every night. <laughs> cleaning the blood from his fingers. <laughs> Genji always trains to get better. Mm. I think uh, Zenyatta would be trying to get uh, Genji to not train quite so much and just enjoy the moment and relax. <laughs> yeah, he would do that because he's very yeah. like, yeah. Everyone needs to chill out. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. Officer Diva. You look awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. You look great too. That's so cool. What's your guys' best Pokemon impression? <laughs> Pokemon? What? <laughs> best Pokemon impression. Oh, I don't watch. What's what? <laughs> Pika, Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta catch you more. Jason Brain. <laughs> okay. I, I don't watch, so I, I don't know. So. <laughs> I think it's got to be Pikachu, yeah. Yeah. Pika, Pika, Pika. He doesn't want Bulbasaur. <laughs> Does Squirtle say anything? Just... Squirtle. Squirtle. He oh, said they, they just say he's going to Squirtle. Thank you. Hope my Pika was good enough for you. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. There's going to be a Pokemon that hasn't appeared in the anime yet who, when they finally appear, like, they're not going to say their name. They're just going to be, like, complaining about their taxes or something. <laughs> Yeah. No. The tax complaint Pokemon. Yeah. Exactly. Hey. What's up? Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so cool. I love that. Hi. I was wondering, do you guys pay attention to like all the lore? And if you do, what would you write in for your character? Even if it's just like a voice line or an actual story? Oh, uh, that stuff. That stuff for sure. Yeah. <laughs> it has the most freedom. Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> Zenyatta seems like a leader, like he would be kind of like a civil rights leader almost, you know, like... Yeah. Kind yeah, of or leading I, some kind of charge against, you know, right. fighting no, for equality. I, I definitely would like to know a little more about his backstory and how he, you know... Because it was uh, the, the Omnic War, right? Mm -hmm. and that, yeah. Robot. yeah, and he um, <laughs> wants to try to bring peace to both, to both sides, and I think that's a, you know, it's a very noble, noble cause. I'd love to know more about that. Yeah. Uh, I want to know what's going on between Genji and Mercy. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Um, with the new Junker Town short, I want to know what Roadhog did to the Queen. You know? I want to know what, why they got kicked out of Junker Town. You know? I kind of want to know what's going on and if there's an arc there. You know? If, because I kind of thought it was neat how they did the, the Jay and Silent Bob thing, which Kevin Smith retweeted one of those cosplays of Roadhog, so that was really cool, you know? $15, little man, put that in my hand. If you don't, then you owe me, owe me, owe. Yeah! So, that's what I'd like to see. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Is that a Dr. Mario plushie? It's snowball. It's not. It's yeah. something else. So you know what? This is what happens when you don't get slick. Get off the stage. 
just kidding. No, look, it looked because you were kind of it looked a little bit like one of the viruses from Doctor Mario. I have been playing a lot of Doctor Mario lately, so it's been on the brain. I apologize. It's, it's snowball. <laughs> yeah. I promise you. Okay, man. Either way, my question is because um, like a lot of you guys have interactions with other characters, you mm. know, Roadhog and Junkrat, Genji and Hanzo. Do you guys record those with the other voice actors, or do you guys just see the lines? Yeah, it's alone. <laughs> we record separate, actually. Oh, yeah. doesn't seem like you guys would be able to re react to each other very well then. But well, that's a great testament to the power of the writing of Michael Chu and the directing of Andrea Toyas, who are two huge names over at Blizzard who run an amazing program. And every time we are honored to work with both of them, uh, uh, Andrea Romano too, who just recently retired, and tons of other amazing vocal directors, they have the vision. They know what the characters are going to sound like, and Michael has written amazing lines, and his whole team has spent tedious amounts of hours carving these stories so that when the lines come to us, they're done. We get a little wiggle room when it comes to, you can throw a laugh here, or a little influx of uh, maybe emotion here, but for the most part, it's pretty by the book. And I think that's really why they're so good at what they do, is because we all do go in there solo, and with stuff like Roadhog and Junkrat, it sounds like they're just, you know, like Chris was next to me when we were recording it. And Chris, by the way, man, did he, he killed it on that thing. So mm -hmm. shout out Chris Parson for yeah. killing it on the Junkertown short. And the whole cast on every short has been amazing. So not only him, but everything. And the new May uh, cinematic was phenomenal, yeah. you know? That was so, so great. So I think they just continually continue to amaze, and that's how polished this game and how how truly what makes it great is that the great minds behind it yeah it's more than us you know yeah thank great question thank you thank you i would like to sincerely apologize i misidentified the plushie and i would like to put out a heartfelt and honest apology <laughs> to the dr mario fan community i hope in time you will forgive me thank you so i'm kind of wondering about the characters you guys voice act kind of what's the your favorite thing about them in general, you know? You know, like, yeah, like the yeah, Overwatch characters, just to keep it brief. It's about the, like, the favorite aspect of that character? Like personality trait, kind of? Um, well, I guess you could say maybe something, yeah, I guess personality-wise and story-wise, kind of. Well, I, like I said, uh, every time I go in for a session, I love that. To, to, to get in that zenyata like state, I, I actually have to kind of, you know, chill and relax and, you know, make it zen. And I could use a little more of that in my own life, and it's always, it's always good to get to do that, because it, you know, gives me a chance to kind of, you know, just relax. I, I, very therapeutic, yeah. I think one thing that I'm the most proud about about this game is not anything in particular about my character. I'm proud of Overwatch for having such a diverse ethnic I cast agree. of all shapes and sizes. I love that. That's one of the most proudest things of this community that makes me really proud is that I'm a part of something where women and men are kicking butt on an equal playing field. And I think everyone, no matter who you are, what you identify as, are welcome here. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm really, that's my favorite part. I agree. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Thank you for that. Great Thank question, you. man. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, hello. 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 If your character played video games, what kind of games do you think they would play? Mm. If you Roadhog would play like fighters, definitely. He would play like, uh, and he'd break all the joysticks. <laughs> <laughs> And then Junk, Junk would probably come and repair the machine and turn it into a bomb to blow up in Roadhog's face as a practical joke, and it would be this big, like, idiot. <laughs> so, sub-question, uh, would Roadhog be a Street Fighter guy or a Mortal Kombat guy? Mortal Kombat. Hello? Because <laughs> I know, I know I would lose. Hello. <laughs> Akuma, <laughs> Akuma yeah. would, would take Hello. him, and Ryu would take him down. Yeah. Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I think Zenyatta would really enjoy Pong. Cool. <laughs> just, yeah, you know, just with them all. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to take that? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. 
Yeah, that was that was me. I I called you. Yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> just make sure. I just want to make sure you got the question. Maybe my manager. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Genji probably will be uh, frustrated and cut the uh, console, and then she won't be able to play. After. Yeah. Yeah. Roadhog would have to yeah. land like PC because his hands yeah. are really big for the controller. Like, you know. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I suppose like classic original Xbox would probably be good too. The that big old big old controller, game. yeah. Or that bulky uh, N64 one. Oh God, yeah. yeah go to that one. Hey. Hi guys. What's up? Hey. Um, uh, one question for, uh, for instance, like the Christmas event uh, for like Genji for your many Christmas. Or no. Uh, no snowflake falls in one place. Uh, I forgot yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, um, how Evil long do Santa. you guys uh, record before it actually hits out on, on uh, for the servers and everything? How long is what? Like how long do you guys like record? After the recording is finished, does it get released? Depends. So maybe three, four months. It depends. It can yeah, be short, depends. it can be long. It's unpredictable. Um, one of the, the things we, we don't know when we go and record these things, when they're going to be used, if they're going to be used, yeah. or when it'll come out. Yeah, they, be... might, they usually like stack uh, voices and then sometimes use like previous one or mm -hmm. the, you know, the old ones, you know, stuff like that. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I record the uh, voice to uh, Orisa at the same time I recorded uh, Doomfist too. So it it's depends, yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hey. So uh, this is a question for all of you, and um, if you get stuck, if of the rest of, for the rest of your life you can be stuck in one video game, which video game would it be, and why? If we could be stuck in one video game for the rest of our lives, what video game would it be, and why? Uh, oh gosh. Leisure Suit Larry. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, man, I like poker. Oh, no, I'm just, you're gonna oh, die no, in no, luck. No, no, terrible. Ooh. Maybe like Chrono Trigger, right? Yeah. And I'd stay in like before you know Lavos came. I would, yeah, the nice, the nice present day. Overwatch. Oh, oh, that's a good answer. <laughs> um, Transformers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Zenyatta is just like some know, terrible right? mechanic on Cybertron. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe he runs like a, yeah. a hostel where, you know, like people come and rest and all the old right. droids get repaired yeah. or whatever. Well, definitely not Pac-Man because I'm, I'm afraid of ghosts. So it wouldn't be that. But, yeah, I don't know. Burger time, maybe? I burger guess. time. <laughs> so random. Yeah. Bubble bump. Yeah, I love some burgers. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Let's just do Larry. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Hi. I mean, great answer. Oh. Hey. Um, first, I want to say that thank you, Josh, for signing the autograph for my girlfriend before. You're like one of the nicest people I've ever met. Thank so. you. I'm flat. I'm thank nicer, though. Much. Well, yeah. <laughs> you, you didn't come by my table. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just your lanes were you have by no the idea. Time I tried. You have no idea how nice I am. <laughs> Matt, I can self heal. <laughs> 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 Um, what's your favorite genre of video game besides Overwatch? Uh, my favorite genre is role-playing games. I've always loved RPGs. Yeah. Any RPG lovers out here? Yeah. yeah. Favorite genre of video oh. game? I get, is that shooter? Is that what you get? Uh, like, a uh, big, big Halo fan. I, I love Halo. Yeah, <laughs> FPS. For me, it's an RPG. I always play uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah, so. Awesome. Thank you. And Thank Dragon you. Quest. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Dragon Quest is good. Yeah, it's so dope. Oh. <gasps> what? So cute. Walter. Oh, sorry. Hi. Um, so if you guys, if, you're, if your Overwatch character ever cosplayed, what would they cosplay? <laughs> I Ooh. love it. That's great. It's a great question. I think Roadhog would cosplay as, I don't know, maybe uh, Hodor? <laughs> you know, maybe uh, some Hodor action? Maybe. Gray Fox. Mm. Oh. I think Zenyatta would make a pretty cool Spider-Man. <laughs> you got all that, Spidey, Spideyatta. That was a great question. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
All I can picture is Roadhog as Sailor Moon. That's where my brain immediately <laughs> went with that. And again, fan art, Tumblr, 24 hours, okay? <laughs> Like Angie. Hi. Hi. Uh, so my question was, what's the either the coolest thing you've ever had somebody ask you to autograph, or the coolest gift you've gotten? I love autographing cosplays. <laughs> yeah. Hooks, lines, sinkers. <laughs> it's not about autograph, but um, one of my fans said the uh, you are got space to everyone, but for me, you are my universe. Oh. That was so nice. That's a good one. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I just love seeing the cosplay. All the cosplay is always great, but you know, you don't see a lot of Zenyatta cosplay. Yeah, and what true. I do is, it's a real so treat. Rare. So It's yeah. really difficult. Yeah, it's so yeah, rare. Yeah, no, I love it. I love it. Boy. Oh, yes. Well done. That's what I'm talking about. Right well there. done. Just a heads up, we are into the last 10 minutes of this panel. I know. It's very sad, but let's make it fun. Yeah. Hey. First to ask, could I... Of course you can. Got it. So, um, my question is, if you were to change anything about any of the heroes, one thing mm -hmm. in the game, what would it be? I just got it. Mobile healing, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Damage reduction, too, is nice. I gonna ask Jeff the, uh, I got, you know, I want the, in my uh, ultimate, back to eight seconds instead of five or six. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it'd be cool if Zenyatta had uh, Lucio's rollerblades. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you just well, wanna, you're you know, go skating. Yeah, 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 but, you, know, you get tired of floating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Personally, as a... Uh, <clears throat> Hanzo main. Um, <laughs> oh. um, I'd want to change Hanzo's hitboxes so they're bigger, so it'd be, like, fair. So, yeah. yeah that's a great idea, too. <laughs> All right. Thank All right. you Thank for your you. question. Thanks. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, hey. So I have to say, have you ever posted something on social media that you have regretted? <laughs> so the question is, are you guys human beings who make mistakes? <laughs> <laughs> have I ever posted on anything on social media that I regretted? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? That, what, that was just the one question you get follow right, up. What, what did you? <laughs> Um, I think that uh, I think social media and that stuff is such a great way to reach out to the fans and to connect. But I also think texts and um, stuff it just gets taken out of context sometimes. And everyone knows that. Sometimes you write something and you mean it one way, and then you read it and it comes out a different way. We can all attest to this when we text our girlfriend or boyfriend or significant other, and we're like, "Hey, I'll see you in a sec." Why are you giving me attitude? No, I was like, "I'll see you in a sec." Yeah, whatever. There's a whole key and peel skip. It's exactly about that. right. Yeah. You know, contextual. Uh, everything is. Uh, taken out of context nowadays, so I think that's the biggest thing to worry about. And today, don't you know? It's pretty. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> it's not that hard to not be an idiot online, right? Okay, thank you. Thanks, thank bro. you. I tweeted something last night, but I very quickly deleted yeah, it. Yeah, everyone should I respect. Immediately regretted it. Yeah, everyone should respect everyone else, and everyone should, you know, in, a, in an ideal world, there would be no mean tweets or sarcastic yeah. remarks, you know. But uh, so we're here to make that world a reality. Um, hi again. Hi. I gave you a little charms yesterday, oh, but um, I was wondering, how do Genji and Zenyatta feel about all the dead Omnics that are scattered <laughs> in Junker Town? Uh. <laughs> I have the Junker Town song as my ringtone right now. Too. No. <laughs> we got so much scrap metal. <laughs> <laughs> Days. It is very disquieting. <laughs> 
I, I do mean, not care for that. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not a robot. I'm a cyborg. So. <laughs> I think that's such a cool storyline too. And one of the greatest things that Blizzard has the ability to do is create an environment and then it cultivates itself. The sandbox grows around the small circle that it began, and theories craft, and everything rises. And I think that's one of the most uh, enjoyable parts of our game and our community that we all get to share. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bring it on over. We're on our last two questions. I'm so yeah, that's nice. This is a Bioshock cosplay? No, no? this is just me. Just <laughs> you? Even that's better. you. It's not so no makeup. Even, Even better. better. I do this every con. Living Dead Great. Girl. Excellent. Um, were there any parts that you had a hard time recording because you couldn't stop laughing? <laughs> I, uh, from laughing, yeah. yeah. When I did some of the Galio stuff with League of Legends, the Gatekeeper Galio skin, um, there's some suggestive stuff in there that I was like, "You guys really gonna use this?" And they're like, "We don't know. Just do you know." Just <laughs> we'll figure it out later. Just say it. Yeah, I. You guys are so serious. Like, well, I, yeah, I am. Well, my, well, okay, and this is any session, but maybe more so when it's Zenyatta because it's, you know, very zen. But, you know, it's a hazard of the job. Occasionally a burp will come out. And that, that's, a, you know, that's an experience. You know, it's like, oh, you know, that's always kind of funny. Hiccups. Yeah. Hiccups, too. <laughs> I mean, for me, it's Japanese lines because that they don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Then. <laughs> You know, can I do that again? Because I messed up and they don't know. They so, don't know yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Have, have, you, yeah. have you ever Pretty slipped? Pretty much it's my, you know, my judgment. So. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Have you ever slipped in anything in Japanese that like, <laughs> yeah. they, they, they don't know? Yeah, they don't know, yeah. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What the hell? Yeah. My God. Yeah. He is That's the authority. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Great question. Thank you. All right, last question. Yeah. Is, what are you cosplaying as? Oh. Um, Homestuck. Homestuck? Yeah. Dope. Do you think you could do Big Smoke's order in a Roadhog voice? What'd you say? Big Smoke's order. Can I make Smoke's order? Big Smoke's order. Big Smoke's order. Yeah. Can I say Big Smoke's order? You know, can you like do the order? Like I'll have two number nines and number nine. Oh. oh. That one. Order. I'll have order. no pork, two cheeseburgers. And some bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sack Anime, it has been amazing. Thank you guys so much for everything you've done. We really appreciate you guys. Give yourselves a round of applause! Woo! Thank you. Do me a favor, give me a big experience tranquility. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, guys. Thank you. If anyone is is uh, curious about more questions, there is another Q and A session that's spoke that's on the books tomorrow at yes. swipe 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 three o'clock. In here. I, it's in. Yes. Thank you, guys. It's in Maine. Thank events. you, guys. It's in Maine, guys. Cool. Thank you, guys, so much for coming. Don't forget all of you.